Welcome back! This video will show you how to ask the Python turtle to reveal her current coordinates and also how to explore her world using random walks. Does that sound familiar? Robots use random walks to complete tasks such as vacuuming your living room. Many natural patterns are also random or pseudorandom. Let's start by asking the turtle to tell you her current coordinates. She has the functions getx and gety for that. This sample code moves the turtle to xy coordinates 30, 20. Here you can see the turtle's straight line path ending at the point 30, 20. To display the turtle's location, we will call the getx and gety functions and use the print command. Pay careful attention to the syntax. print x equals The first argument is a text string that helps write a sentence that makes sense of the numbers. The second argument is the getx or gety function. Be sure to include the comma separating the arguments and close both parentheses. Print x equals tina.getx will print out x equals followed by the turtle's x coordinate. Print y equals tina.gety will print out y followed by the turtle's y coordinate. Let's run the program. As before, the viewer shows the turtle's path based on the go to command. The x and y coordinates of her current position are printed in the yellow box below the code. Now let's take our python turtle for a walk. Instead of going to a fixed location at the end of a straight line, she will randomly change directions along the way. That sounds a little like letting your puppy out in the woods for the first time. However, random walks have a more serious mathematical purpose. They are an important topic in statistics. For example, random walks are used to describe the movement of gas particles and the movement of the stock market. For now, we will stick to our wandering turtle. The turtle's random walk function is written as ranwalk nsa. Ranwalk takes her on a random walk of total length n steps. At the beginning and then after every s steps, she will randomly turn by an angle of up to 8 degrees left or right. Let's assign values to n, s, and a. In our example, there are 100 steps in all, every 5 steps a random angle from 0 to 15 degrees left or right will be selected. Let's see how this works. Notice that the path is not a straight line. See how the turtle's direction changed every five steps? Some changes are to the left and some to the right. Let's run the program again a few times. Be because we are using random values to the left or right for the first angle, the chance of producing exactly the same line as her first run is extremely unlikely. The resulting walks look quite different. Say we want to record several random walks on the same graph. This would make it much easier to compare them. We can repeat our random walks using a for loop. 
In this example, our program will run three walks or trials, so our for loop index is 3. To keep our record straight, we will print the walk number before the get x, get y results. We will also send the turtle home after each walk so she starts from the same point. Let's run the program. Now we can easily compare the three walks by looking at the graph or using the data in the yellow box. To summarize, we can collect information about the turtle's xy coordinates using the get x and get y functions and print out the results. We can write a program that creates random walks using the ran walk function and even display several walks on the same graph using a for loop. Random walks are an important statistical tool and are used to analyze events or even build vacuuming robots. Play around with the values in RAN walk and see what happens.